Hey, welcome back. Listen, I got a bonus video for you today, but before I get into that video, I want to say uh, today is Monday, April 6th, I believe. Yep, yeah, April 6th. Uh, Wednesday, April 8th, I'm going to be doing a live stream with uh, Keeping It Neat. Uh, and uh, I'll, at least for the duration until this is over, I'll include a card. So if you click uh, the info up at the top, it should pop up right about now. Um, and go to their channel and subscribe. Uh, then, then you can get a notification of, of the live stream when we go live at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, Wednesday, April 8th. Um, but after this uh, is over, I'll remove the card, but I'm leaving the video up, so we're not going to lament over that. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, what we're going to talk about today is an infinity bottle. Uh, I've read about them before, but normally uh, I'm not going to drink any bourbon today. Uh, but I do have two bottles up here that are relatively getting close to the bottom. And what happens over time, and I've took the cork out of that, I don't know why. But anyway, um, what happens uh, over time, bourbon won't go bad in the bottle. Uh, but what it will do is if there's too much air in here, it will change complexity and it will start losing its flavor and losing its intensity. So usually when I get down uh, to about this much in the bottle, uh, you can see these are about the same. I usually have what I call a kick the bottle event and I invite friends over and we sit around and we just polish off the bottles. Uh, it is pretty fun to do, but right now, uh, in, in the time of COVID-19, we're not supposed to be gathering and everything. So I don't want to throw this stuff away and I don't want to, you know, have myself a hangover or anything trying to finish them off myself. So what I'm going to do is combine these together. Uh, and then over time, uh, as you, you start, uh, as I start drinking more and more of these bourbons down, I'll add to the mix. Uh, I've heard good things about this. Of course, infinity bottles are normally only shared uh, among very close friends and, and we don't review them or anything like that. And I say we, I've never made one before. Like I said, I've always had the kick the bottle event and those are great, but right now I can't do that. So I'm going to start my own infinity bottle uh, because uh, of this. And I just wanted to bring that to you. You can go read more about them online. Uh, it's really not a set thing. You can get any decanter. What I'm going to do is just cover the label on one of these bottles and just put an infinity symbol on it and say, hey, that's my infinity bottle. It's not what it appears to be. So, um, but yeah, it, the, to, to kick this off, I'm going to have Jefferson's Ocean uh, and Bullet 10 together. Um, I'll let them uh, rattle around in the bottle a little bit, um, and then I'll give it a little taste. Uh, I may even do a video on it later, but uh, of course, these won't be the only two. As I start knocking some down, I'll start adding to it. And the reason it's called an infinity bottle is because you kind of drink some out of there every once in a while and share with friends. And then uh, possibly even after a bourbon tasting event uh, where we would actually put bottled bourbons against each other and I usually do blind tastings where we sit around and we have our, our sheets and we mark the notes down and we choose a favorite without knowing which one it is uh, and then and then we re do the reveal but after that we we normally have some hors d'oeuvres and uh, I'll sometimes cook a dry uh, steak and and we'll have little bits of it to try and I may pull out the infinity bottle and, and pour a, a few people a, a little snifter of it but a, as you drink it down you add more too but it, you just add different things, whatever you're polishing off uh, at the moment. And so over time, you will have a bourbon that is unique that only you have in the world. You're the only one that's going to have that unique blend of this much of this and exactly that much of that, which I'm not even going to measure it. I'm just going to be like, well, when it gets down like that, I'm going to pour it in. So anyway, that's an infinity bottle. Uh, if you want to know more, like I said, Google it. Um, it's a fad thing or a new thing kind of that's been going around lately. Uh, go check it out. I'm going to give it a shot because of circumstances. But as always, please like and subscribe and I promise I'll keep bringing you these videos.